for our part, we believe that in a democracy, the size of your wallet should not determine the volume of your voice. Um, and as money has become more and more important to the success of a campaign, it's very important that the campaign finance system reflect the principles of one person, one vote as much as possible. The point here is that for our part, we believe that there is a compelling interest to limit money in politics to preserve a certain level of political equality and to ensure that the very wealthy and that corporate interests cannot directly translate their economic success into political power. To summarize those cases, Buckley really opened the door for individuals to spend unlimited money to influence elections, but Citizens United opened the door for corporations to do the same. The kind of money Blair was talking about, unlimited contributions, secret money, uh, has been returned to our elections in massive amounts as a result of these various court decisions, starting with Citizens United. Two-thirds of the money raised by super PACs, or $100 million, was given by just 50 individuals. That's an average of $2 million per person. And ultimately, we will need the Disclose Act to get the kind of comprehensive disclosure that is needed here. Uh, we know that we're not going to pass the legislation this year, but we think it's extremely important to get national attention to it, to build all the public support and grassroots support we can now, and set the stage for passing it in 2013. Well, we think there's a really good chance that by the next Congress we will be in a position to win this battle, in part because by the end of this election it is going to be clear that massive amounts of secret money have been poured into the elections and that people are going to be buying influence over government results without anyone having a clue about who those individuals and groups and entities are a huge coalition of roughly about a hundred groups of labor unions, institutional investors, transparency groups are seeking regulatory action before the Securities and Exchange Commission. Ten law professors have filed a petition for rulemaking for the SEC to require disclosure of corporate political spending at least to shareholders if not the public. Uh, we've been able to encourage almost 300,000 independent comments encouraging the SEC to move forward with this petition. I encourage everyone who's listening here to go on to the SEC website, look up file 4-637, and, and certainly file a comment. Following on the heels of the Montana decision, I fully expect much, much more public pressure upon Congress to uh, you know, resolve the Citizens United decision uh, ultimately through a constitutional amendment. One of the things that Ben has been doing is really wanting to um, bring attention to the role of the U.S. Chamber in all of this and um, the fact that corporations can be giving money to the U.S. Chamber which then gets spent on political ads and when the ads air, um, they air as U.S. Chamber ads and you never know which corporation is really behind the ad and so it's this amazing conduit for secret corporate money in elections and the U.S. Chamber was the largest outside spending group uh, in, uh, in the 2010 midterms. And due to the Van Hollen versus FEC decision, the Chamber and other groups were scared off from election and communications and the Chamber announced that change in policy and that it will now be doing independent expenditures. Part of the irony of this transition away from electioneering communications into independent expenditures just to avoid disclosure really highlights what has been going on. The Chamber of Commerce, for instance, that has always insisted it's doing issue advocacy, not campaign work. Well, now they either disclose their donors if they want to do electioneering communications, and they're choosing not to do that. They're reinvesting in independent expenditures and actually saying vote for, vote against. Uh, so, you know, this this myth that the chamber was doing just issue advocacy is being brought out into the open here.